In this video, I'm going to show you how to transform your magic experience with some amazing mods that overhaul the visuals, animations, spells, and behaviors of magic in Skyrim. We have selected your favorite modes and produced an overhaul video, so you can look forward to it. Let's get started. First, let's talk about the visual mods that enhance the look and feel of magic. These mods add new effects, textures, and lighting to make magic more immersive and realistic. First is ENB Light. ENB Light mod adds dynamic light sources to spells, scrolls, staves, and enchantments. This means that your magic will cast shadows and illuminate the environment, creating a stunning atmosphere. You can customize the intensity, color, and radius of the light sources in the ENB settings. Next up is Deadly Spell Impacts. This mod is a mod that improves the impact decals of magic on different surfaces. This mod adds more variety and detail to the scorch marks, frost patterns, and sparks that appear when you cast magic. You can choose from different texture resolutions and options in the installer. And there are Embers XD. This mod is overhauls the fire effects in Skyrim. This mod replaces the vanilla fire with more realistic and dynamic fire react that's to the wind, weather, and objects. It also adds new fire effects to spells, enchantments, and fireplaces. The flame effect is surprisingly improved, especially in dark places. I think it is an essential mode for magic as well. Electrify is a mod that enhances the shock effects in Skyrim. This mod adds new textures, meshes, and sounds to the shock spells, enchantments, and traps. It also adds new lightning bolts, sparks, and arcs to make shock magic more spectacular and satisfying. Arctic Frost Effects Redux is a mod that revamps the frost effects in Skyrim. This mod adds new textures, meshes, and sounds to the frost spells, enchantments, and traps. It also adds new ice shards, crystals, and mist to make frost magic more chilling and beautiful. Refracting Ice Form Debris is a mod that adds a realistic refraction effect to the ice form debris that appears when you shatter frozen enemies. This mod makes the ice form debris look more like actual ice, with transparency and distortion. It also adds a subtle sound effect when the debris hits the ground. Strange Runes is a mod that adds glowing runes to your hands and the environment when you cast spells. This mod makes magic more immersive and stylish, as you can see the symbols of the spells you are using. The runes are based on the Elder Scrolls lore and have different colors and shapes depending on the school of magic. You can customize the runes in the MCM menu. Next, let's talk about the animation mods that change the way you move and cast magic. These mods add new animations and poses to make magic more fluid and expressive. First is Comprehensive First Person Animation Overhaul. This mod replaces the vanilla first person animations with more realistic and varied ones. This mod changes the way you walk, run, sprint, sneak, jump, and idle in first person mode. It also changes the way you hold and use weapons, shields, spells, and staves. You can mix and match different animation sets and options in the phone mode installer. Next up is Gotia Magic and Staff Animations. It adds new animations for magic and staffs in third-person mode. This mod makes magic more elegant and graceful. As you can see, your character perform different gestures and poses when casting spells. Although it is a bit cumbersome to download each animation individually, I have compiled links in the description as much as possible, so I hope this will help you download them as conveniently as possible. Now, let's talk about the magic expansion mods that add new spells, scrolls, and staves to Skyrim. These mods increase the variety and diversity of magic in Skyrim, giving you more options and possibilities to play as a mage. Apocalypse Magic of Skyrim is a mod that adds 155 new spells to Skyrim, spread across all the schools of magic. These spells are balanced, lore-friendly, and creative, offering new ways to deal damage, heal, summon, buff, 
debuff, and manipulate the world. You can find these spells in vendors, loot, and quest rewards. Odin, Skyrim Magic Over Howl is a mode that improves and fixes the vanilla Skyrim spells, makes scrolls and staves viable, and adds new spells, scrolls, and staves inspired by previous Elder Scrolls games. This mod makes magic more consistent, logical, and fun, as it fixes bugs, removes limitations, and adds new features and mechanics to the vanilla spells. Triumvirate Mage Archetypes is a mod that adds 75 new spells to Skyrim, divided into five mage archetypes, Druid, Shadow Mage, Shaman, Warlock, and Wizard. These archetypes are based on the lore and the gameplay of different cultures and factions in the Elder Scrolls universe, and have unique themes, playstyles, and mechanics. You can unlock these spells by joining the corresponding factions, or by finding NPC across Skyrim. Abyssal Tides Magic is a mod that adds new spells to Skyrim based on the theme of Apocalypse. These spells are dark, mysterious, and powerful, allowing you to manipulate water, summon Apocrypha creatures, and unleash the forces of the Apocrypha. The spell tomes can be found occasionally within containers around Apocrypha. And with Spid, the cultists from the Dragonborn DLC and Mirak will use some of these spells as well. The Obscure Magic mod adds 12 new spells to Skyrim, featuring a variety of magical schools. For instance, spells from the School of Flames can ignite or explode enemies, while water-based magic pushes foes away and inflicts damage. This mod introduces a diverse array of effects and powerful spells, enhancing the magical repertoire in Skyrim. Additionally, it showcases a Radiant Masi that further accentuates the mode's impact. Finally, let's delve into behavior mods that alter the mechanics of magic and its interaction with the game world. The reason is that the default behavior for magic is somewhat limited. In this video, I'll introduce mods that can extend the behavior of mages. First, we have Dual Wield Parrying SKSE. This mod allows you to block and bash while dual-wielding weapons or spells. I find it significant in expanding behavior, especially in the ability to defend while spells are equipped. Following that is the expansion of staff behavior, New Staff School. This mod introduces a new school of magic for staffs. After charging approximately three times, a special attack is executed with different magical effects corresponding to each directional key. When using a staff in a sneak state, you can even summon Atronox. Notably, this mod broadens staff behavior, allowing them to be wielded similarly to swords and used for blocking. Next up is the expansion of magic behavior, Vakri Kahnarin. This mod adds a new feature for magic, Sprint Equip Attack. While configuring the Payload Interpreter in E may be a bit cumbersome, if used appropriately, it can dynamically enhance your mage playthrough with the addition of sprint attacks. Lastly, consider replacing Skyrim's Paraglider mod with Levitation through Freerin or Dragon's Dogma Levitation style staff. While the original Paraglider mod focuses on gliding through the sky, replacing it with Levitation or Freerin replayers can provide a more magical effect. This change gives mages a fantastical experience of soaring through the skies using magic. Thank you so much for joining us on this magical journey through the Skyrim Magic Overhaul. If you found these enchanting modifications helpful and your Skyrim experience has been spellbinding, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more mystical content, and ring the notification bell to stay updated on all things Skyrim. Until our next arcane encounter, stay magical and may your shouts echo through the mountains of Skyrim.